And now, CBS 6 News This Morning. St. Peter's has a revised plan for its health facilities in Troy. It will outline that plan at 12.30 this afternoon. The new one calls for spending $99 million on Samaritan and St. Mary's hospitals. From WNYT, Albany, in HD. News Channel 13, early today, begins right now. St. Peter's Health Partners is going to release a revised plan to build a $99 million addition and renovation at Troy, Samaritan, and St. Mary's hospitals. That's happening this afternoon, and we'll have coverage beginning at News Channel 13 Live at 5. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at noon. Happening today, we'll get an update on a massive upgrade plan for two Troy hospitals. Officials from St. Peter's Health Partners will be talking about the Troy Master Facilities Project. The plan calls for $99 million in construction and renovations at Troy's Samaritan and St. Mary's Hospitals. The project first announced in November of 2012. We are learning more about St. Peter's Health Partners Master Facilities Plan. The overall goal is to improve access to health care in Troy. The plan includes an accelerated timeline in renovation and construction projects. You're watching Time Warner Cable News all day. We are expected to learn more today about St. Peter's Health Partners Master Facilities Plan. The overall goal of the project is to improve access to health care in the city of Troy. The project was first announced in December of 2012. It's expected to change the way Samaritan and St. Mary's hospitals operate. Initially, the project was expected to take place over the next 13 years in three phases. However, a revised plan includes an accelerated timeline. The new plan allows $99 million in new construction and renovation projects. Last week, St. Peter's Health Partners filed certificates of need with the State Health Department for review and authorization of these new plans. New at 5, St. Peter's Health Partners is looking to make Troy's hospital system more convenient. At a press conference today, a nearly $100 million renovation project was outlined for Samaritan and St. Mary's hospitals. This and ABC's January Keaton joins us live from the Samaritan Hospital in Troy with more on these plans. January. Hey there, Mark. Well, this first step is already done. They've already filed the certificate of need, and that basically gives them regulatory permission to start this ball rolling on what's being called the Troy Master Facilities Plan. Basically what it is, is they're going to take Samaritan Hospital that you see behind me and basically revamp all of its inpatient facility features, and they're going to take St. Mary's and revamp all of its outpatient facility features. The Troy Master Facility Plan equally relies on the success of Samaritan as the inpatient facility and St. Mary's as our outpatient hub. First announced in November 2012, the initial phase of the master facility plan will be completed in late 2017. What it is, is a five-year investment in expansion projects for both Samaritan and St. Mary's hospitals in Troy. You've heard that the reality is both Troy hospitals were operating at about 50%. It's impossible to efficiently operate on an ongoing basis and be sustainable at a 50% occupancy. Here's the plan in a nutshell, according to CEO Ron Dasher. So we want to consolidate inpatient to a single um, location as well as consolidate outpatient. Inpatient will be at Samaritan, outpatient will be at St. Mary's. The project will cost a total of $150 million when all said and done, investing $99 million in the next five years to modernize emergency departments for both hospitals, a new ICU, more parking, and consolidating the 400 hospital beds, many of which will become private rooms. So our range will be 168 to 194. At 168, we'll have 100% private rooms. At 194, we'll have 74% private rooms. By the end of 2017, Samaritan Hospital will serve as the single facility for medical, surgical, and behavioral health inpatient care in the area through a new patient pavilion, expanded emergency department, not to mention a new 550-space parking garage. 
Now, back here live at Samaritan Hospital, you see behind me the hospital there, as I mentioned, will serve all the outpatient needs here in Troy and St. Mary's will serve all the inpatient needs. Uh, excuse me, and let me say that again. Samaritan will serve all the inpatient needs. St. Mary's will have all your outpatient needs like oncology and women's health. Now, the project scheduled to start, as I mentioned, May of 2015. It'll go on until May of 2017. The total project will be completed and ready to roll by July of 2017. Live in Troy, January Keaton, News 10 ABC. Thank you, January. From WNYT, Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at 5, begins right now. Because of Obamacare and other federal changes, there's been a big shift in how health care is being reimbursed. And that's prompted St. Peter's Health Partners to accelerate their building and renovation plans for Troy. In fact, the health care provider says it would have lost millions if it didn't adjust the plans, speeding up the timetable on the project that remakes the Samaritan and St. Mary's campuses. We had to accelerate the plan. Unveiled in November 2012, the plan had a $150 million price tag. That's been trimmed to $99 million and a shorter time frame. The original plan had the St. Mary's campus becoming all outpatient in 2023. That has been accelerated. The work should be done by 2017. Same for the Samaritan campus, which will house all the inpatient beds. While most of the design plans unveiled in 2012 remain, the new patient tower at Samaritan will be five stories, one story taller than originally planned. And the School of Nursing at Samaritan will move to St. Mary's. Both sites will provide endoscopy services. Hospital officials say a five-year financial projection showed the rapidly changing landscape of reimbursement rates, including more reimbursement for outpatient care, meant they had to shift gears. And if we did nothing, if we just went on our routine course, by the year 2018, we would have a $14 million operating loss. So this gets your outpatient facility up and running faster because that's where the money's going to be? Exactly. Now, the paperwork for the project's been submitted to the state health department, and if all goes smoothly, the first round of construction should start by September 2014. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC at 6. The region's largest private sector employer, St. Peter's Health Partners, took the first official filing needed to begin its Troy Master Facility Plan. That plan includes construction, renovation, and modernization of both the Samaritan and St. Mary's campus. News 10 ABC's January Keaton joins us live now from Samaritan with more. January? You said it, Lydia. The project, it'll cost about $99 million over the course of five years. And what it'll do is it'll bring inpatient treatment primarily to Samaritan Hospital and modernize it. And it'll bring outpatient treatment to St. Mary's Hospital. St. Peter's Health Partners is looking to make Troy's hospital system more convenient. At a press conference today, a nearly $100 million renovation project was outlined for Samaritan and St. Mary's hospitals. Here's the plan for the new five-story pavilion project at Samaritan. So the pavilion now that uh, we've proposed is um, a new emergency room on the first floor. The second floor is a new intensive care unit, 24 beds. The third floor is a new progressive care unit or step-down unit, which will be all monitored or telemetry beds. And then our fourth and fifth floor will be all private med surge rooms. 74% of medical surgical beds will be in private rooms instead of the current 25%. Research indicates that private rooms promote faster healing, lower infection rates, and fewer medical errors. The need is greater to consolidate the hospitals now more than ever, says St. Peter's Health Partner CEO Ron Dasher. The environment is changing so quickly that we needed to react in a fashion that uh, the 13-year plan would not allow us to do. There will be future phases after this, but this is what we have to do right off the bat. By the end of 2017, Samaritan Hospital will serve as the single facility for medical, surgical, and behavioral health inpatient care in the area. St. Mary's will serve as the outpatient care hospital for things like endoscopies and women's health needs. 
Now, back here live at Samaritan Hospital, the next big upgrade will be to upgrade the tower building here at Samaritan. It's been here since 1972. They're going to do some upgrades on that. Now, under that five-year, $99 million plan, some of the other features they're going to provide are going to be an expanded emergency department, also a new intensive care unit. They also plan to build a brand spanking new 550-car garage to make parking a little easier. Now, the initial phase of this five-year plan is set to complete by July 2017. Live in Troy, January Keaton, News 10 ABC. All right, thank you, January. From WNYT, Albany in HD. News Channel 13, live at 6, begins right now. Changes to hospital-based care in Troy have been fast-tracked. St. Peter's Health Partners today announced they would accelerate the work to make the St. Mary's campus all outpatient and add another story to the new patient tower at the Samaritan campus, which will house all the inpatient beds. Obamacare, the shift to more outpatient treatment and other reimbursement changes by the feds prompted the speed-up. Now, originally, the $150 million project was planned for 13 years with 67 million spent in the first three phases. Now 99 million will be spent over seven years to complete the work. And if we did nothing, if we just went on our routine course, by the year 2018, we would have a $14 million operating loss. There are no plans for any layoffs. Now, if all the approvals are granted, work should begin by September next year. A series of changes to the Troy Master Facility Project. Hospital officials attribute the revisions to changes in the current health care landscape, including the Affordable Care Act. You're watching Time Warner Cable News all evening. They first announced the project in November of 2012, but now the St. Peter's Health Partners Troy Master Facility Project has been revised in its scope and timing. Our Aaron Connolly has more on the changes. There's nothing that we said we we're going to do before that we're not doing now. But St. Peter's Health Partners is changing the scope and timing of the Troy Master Facility Plan. Previous plans for construction and renovation to Troy Samaritan and St. Mary's Hospitals called for a $150 million three-phase project over 13 years. The revised version will initially invest $99 million in the next five years, with future project phases to be determined later. If we did nothing. If we just went on our routine course, by the year 2018, we would have a $14 million operating loss. Dasher says after conducting a five-year projection, they accelerated the plan because of changes in the health care environment, including the Affordable Care Act. The insurance exchanges created by Obamacare, the, the payment rates that we will receive from those insurance exchanges, insurance, excuse me, exchanges are less than we currently receive. Some highlights of the project include construction of a new patient pavilion at Samaritan Hospital, a new expanded emergency department, and a new parking garage. The consolidation of inpatient care in Troy to just Samaritan Hospital will be accelerated by six years. The original St. Mary's Hospital building and a, a large portion of the Samaritan building are the original buildings that <laughs> were opened in 1919. Um, our patients deserve better than that. And construction is expected to begin in September. In Troy, Aaron Connolly, Time Warner Cable News. The master facility plan will be funded through an anonymous $10 million donation and a fundraising campaign, which officials expect will raise between $25 and $30 million. The rest of the money will be borrowed.